Today we are looking at a game played between Andrew Tate and a chess master. This game is absolutely insane and at the end it gets crazy. So Andrew has the black pieces today and he is rated 1694 and his opponent who is a candidate master is rated 1657. Now the reason why his rating is quite low is probably because he doesn't play much online chess. And this was a three minute game played on chess.com. Let's get into it. So Andrew's opponent, the candidate master from, I believe, Togo, opens up with the move E4, E5, and F4. This opening is known as the King's Gambit, arguably the most aggressive chess opening there is. And Andrew replies with the move D6. We see Knight F3 and Knight C6. And after Bishop C4, Black's most popular move here is simply just to take this pawn. Instead, we see Andrew play a very interesting line and he plays the move h6, preparing something. Because after white gets his king to safety with castles, now Andrew takes. And his opponent gets his pawn into the center as the center is extremely important with the move d4. And now we see Andrew's idea behind this move h6 because he supports it with the move g5. White continues with c3, just defending this pawn on d4. Bishop d7, and now white lashes out with the move b4. And Andrew slides his queen up, queen f6, and here the move a4. Now, the thing about this position is that wherever Andrew castles, his king is not going to be that safe. But Andrew decides to castle his king queenside, which is extremely risky. Now we have castles of opposite sides. We see one side is castled queenside and the other side is castled kingside. When this happens, just know this game is going to get violent. And Andrew's opponent isn't wasting any time and he goes a5. Bishop g7, knight b to d2, and now Andrew plays g4. Now, what white needs to do here is just completely ignore this threat, I know, and play the move b5. Instead, we see knight e1. Now, you can try work out a tactical sequence Tate could have played here. There was a very interesting move with the move knight d4. Let me quickly show you, knight d4. And after takes, going queen d4, checking this king and winning this rook. That's very interesting there. So just going back a bit, back to knight e1. There was an interesting attempt of knight d4. Instead of going knight d4, Andrew plays f3, which seems like it really works. Especially after gf3, Andrew takes this pawn and Andrew's opponent picks up his rook and goes rook f3. Now Tate's queen is under attack by this rook, so he dodges to queen e7. But now Andrew's opponent can simply take this pawn and now there is a some more of a double attack so Andrew has to slide out of this attack Queen g5, check. And after knight g2, now Andrew takes this seemingly innocent pawn. Now, you can try find a move here that white can play to completely obliterate Tate here. So I'll let you try find it, but the move is knight b3, which is a complete KO. Because now the queen is under attack by this bishop, and this knight is simply just falling, so that would have been an absolute KO. Good thing for Tate, his opponent misses is this because after the move knight d4 knight b3 is just a ko instead takes opponent takes this knight and we see this bishop slide into the d4 square and penetrate and this king is in check so king h1 and now andrew can simply pick up this free rook tate is up three pieces on material however his opponent has a very active position and the candidate master tries to double attack tate with the move knight f3 and now there is a double attack tate stands unfazed and goes queen h5 completely dodging out bishop f4 and what tate should do here is simply just develop with knight f6 and if white decides to take this free bishop you can always take this free knight but instead of tate playing a developing move he plays the move bishop e5 now you can also try work out why this move does not work the reason is simple this bishop is completely free you cannot take back because of queen d7 however tate dodges another bullet and his opponent goes queen f1 and the time situation is at 
Andrew has 1 minute 36 seconds and his opponent has 54 seconds. So it's going to get tense and after the move queen f1, Andrew simply develops his knight with knight f6. And instead of going king b8 here, just defending this pawn as there is an attack on the a7 pawn, Andrew goes knight g4, which is another catastrophic blunder. And his opponent takes this pawn with queen a7. Now, there is a threat of the move queen a8 checkmate. So everything Tate does either has to be with check or it has to be preventing this checkmate. So Andrew goes knight f2 check. This queen can simply take this knight. However, his opponent does not see this. We see king g1 and now knight h3 check. Now, instead of going back to h1, which would have kept him in the game, Andrew's opponent goes to f1 and now this knight falls with check. We see king e1, but now bishop c3 check. Remember, everything has to be with check. And after bishop d2, now try pause the video and work out the only winning move here Tate has. So I'll let you pause the video. The move that Tate had to play here was queen e4 check. Instead, Andrew here played the move bishop d2 check, which is still good but it doesn't win the game and after king d2 we see queen g2 check and after bishop e2 blocking it the position is equal however andrew's opponent has 14 seconds on the clock and tate has about a minute we see queen g5 king c2 but now bishop a4 this bishop slides in checking the king and after king b2 this queen again just completely harassing queen d2 Check, but this king has to go to a3. We see check, check, check. Andrew's opponent has six seconds on the clock. He's running out. We see some more checks and a couple more checks. And after king b3, here Andrew goes queen b1 check and his opponent runs out of time. So Andrew successfully defeats a candidate master. And if you want to see Andrew's first win out of jail, make sure you like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy this video. Thank you for your time and attention. Have a good day.